The build-up to NASCAR 21 Ignition looked extremely promising at first. For two years, the fan base was told that this game was in production. This game was going to be the real deal. As we all know now, that has not been the case. All of that hype and waiting for two years has led to one of the worst NASCAR games of all time. But when it comes to calling this game the worst of all time in the NASCAR series, that's up for debate. This is, is this the worst NASCAR video game? For four years, the NASCAR Heat series got slightly better and better with each release. The problem is we never saw wholesale changes, and that's because the rumors were going around that after the initial release of NASCAR Heat 3, that's when the production of NASCAR 21 Ignition began. Because of that, a lot of fans were willing to cut some slack for the NASCAR Heat games. They thought those games were setting the building blocks for one of the best NASCAR games in the future. A lot of fans were hyped for the game, including myself. One of the things NASCAR Ignition does a great job on is the overall presentation. A major positive for me was them bringing back the pre-race festivities. This was sorely lacking in the NASCAR Heat series, and when I saw it at Daytona for the first time, I was extremely impressed. Unfortunately, it's mostly all downhill from here. Don't get me wrong, this presentation and eye candy in the game is awesome to look at, but if the game doesn't play well, it's completely useless. With the $60 asking price and the pre-order costing a whole lot more, this game needed to deliver. Myself and some other content creators in the community were telling our audiences not to pre-order the game and wait for more gameplay to come out. Once the pre-ordered edition of the game was officially released, NASCAR fans quickly found out what type of game we were getting. Here we go. Oh. Well, all right. Steering assistance. We need an ability to turn this off. Now there's low, medium, high, and there's no off. I think this may be a thing that um, might be you know left over from the demo that they were showing. Um, so I really hope this turns off because there's a couple things that have happened with the steering assistance that I did not like at all. And I'll show that to you later on. I'm noticing there's a that steering assist, I can feel it happening in the car, and I really don't like it. That was interesting. All the cars just disappear like that. Whoa! Oh, are they trying to give us a... I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Okay, the AI Pace tried to figure its lap. life out. Pace Whoa, look out at this! Pit. We're actually in the garage. Let's, let's, let's try to nurse this thing back to uh, pit road, shall we? It's <laughs> absolute chaos. Oh my God, look at them. They're flipping over there. <laughs> oh, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Look at this chaos I've made. Oh my Lord, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> there are no custom setups. I looked, I don't see it at all. And uh, I know that really does suck. I hope that they bring those in as soon as possible. No custom setups. Not happy with that. There is no, there are no custom setups to my knowledge that has to be worked in at a later date. Oh, we're just gonna go straight into qualifying. Here. Let's put down a flyer. So just like that, it just throws us straight into it. A little weird that they just kind of throw you out here on the middle of the track. Like I wish they would just let you get out of pit road and have your own outlap and everything. Two two three three two 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 three two inside your two two three 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 two inside your three wide two inside. What the? What the fuck? What? What did you do? Oh, I'm lucky. Kenny pulled the ratio. What? <laughs> I remember watching multiple streams of the game's initial release that night and it was a lot to unpack for myself and the fan base. Imagine being told that this game was in production for two to two and a half years and that this game was going to bring the NASCAR console gaming genre back to prominence. Instead, what we got was one of the worst gaming flops in NASCAR history and maybe video gaming history. This game was nowhere near close to being finished. And to add more problems to it, this was an entirely different base. The NASCAR 
NASCAR Heat Series used the Unity engines for many, many years. A new engine meant a new start for what has become NASCAR 21 Ignition, which is similar to what happened for NASCAR Heat Evolution. While this game wasn't as hyped as Ignition, there were still lofty expectations. And just like Ignition, the trailers were set up in a way to show as little gameplay as possible, opting to go for the eye candy instead. While both NASCAR 21 Ignition and NASCAR Heat Evolution are without a doubt the worst NASCAR games of all time, there's a little debate amongst the fan base on which one is worse. Those who defend Ignition bring up some solid points that the game has way more features. One of the features I love in NASCAR Ignition is the career mode. For years, fans have been requesting that career modes have it to where drivers retire and new drivers replace them. For example, in this simulation I found, Jeb Burton ends up driving for Chip Ganassi Racing after Kurt Busch retires and ends up winning a championship. And also, having a dedicated stats page for each driver was another awesome feature. Features like this get you more immersed into the game. However, the counter arguments to this have been, what's the point of all of these features if the game doesn't even play right? If you're having to deal with constant bugs and glitches while trying to race either online or in career mode, it doesn't matter what features you have no features in the world is going to save sloppy gameplay. And it's a shame too, because when the game isn't a glitchy buggy mess, NASCAR 21 Ignition has some of the best physics any racing game could have. While I was extremely optimistic about this game before its initial release, the most based from the very beginning on this game was without a doubt IDK Player. So when you look at NASCAR 21 Ignition as a whole, you can really see why a lot of people did not enjoy this gaming product just based off of gameplay alone and we can go on for hours and hours about the lag spikes versus the glitches versus certain features that were available in previous iterations of the game versus obviously not being in the current product but in reality i believe a lot of this buildup of hate happened to go from nascar heat 5 and NASCAR Heat 4, which ultimately overflowed into NASCAR 21 Ignition. And now you might be asking, what does that mean? Well, basically from Heat 4 to Heat 5, those two games were a complete copy and paste. And with that being said, a lot were led to believe that NASCAR Heat 5 was a copy and paste to NASCAR Heat 4, so NASCAR 21 can be this big, amazing game, and motorsport games can focus on the release of NASCAR 21, aka NASCAR Heat 5 will walk, so NASCAR 21 can run. And in my opinion, I believe the patience just completely ran out of the majority of the community. So when all that hype from NASCAR E5 was built up to NASCAR 21 after a copy and paste and uh, the price of NASCAR 21 being increased by $10 compared to NASCAR E5, as well as there being less features in NASCAR 21 than the previous iteration, and obviously you can account for the endless bugs and glitches, this is where I believe the Super Volcano just absolutely bursted within the console side of the community. A lot of people are going to be patient, but at some point a lot are just going to look for a different alternative, and uh, the other alternative is iRacing. For the amount of content you get on iRacing, whether it be race tracks, race cars, or custom paint schemes on trading paints, at the end of the day, you truly get a bang for your buck. Depending on how much content you buy, you can truly race wherever in whatever on iRacing. Why pay 60 bucks for a game that only allows you to test the next gens at Daytona when you could get a subscription on iRacing instead and race the next gens against other fans at Daytona. In conclusion, do we have a new worst NASCAR video game? Well, that's up for debate. While NASCAR 21 Ignition was an absolute train wreck upon release, some fans are willing to give the game some slack because of its physics and features whenever the game isn't a glitchy buggy mess. Instead, opting to still say that NASCAR Heat Evolution is the worst NASCAR game of all time. I'll let you guys debate that in the comments below, but at the very least, I think we can all agree on one thing. When it comes to the console side of things, diehards simply want a return to its roots. To have a current gen NASCAR game that is as beloved as NASCAR Thunder 2004. Imagine telling a NASCAR fan in 2003 
that this was as good as it was going to get. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.